Next, and we're talking mainly here in this webinar about fixed cell systems like uh, antibody labeling. Um, what does fixation mean? Well, fixation means that you're doing a chemical treatment to preserve the cells in a particular physiological state um, and to preserve morphology in many cases. Uh, the main way that people do that uh, is either through a cross-linking with aldehydes or through solvent fixation. Cross-linking with formaldehyde or glutaraldehyde really preserves the structure by cross-linking proteins, the amine groups on these proteins, um, which creates a rigidity to the cells or tissue, uh, preserving them in that state. Just be aware that sometimes by doing that, you can mask antigen binding sites where the antibody needs to bind. And you have to do an unmasking, like an antigen retrieval or protease treatments in order to reveal those sites. Also, increased autofluorescence. That is, a fluorescence native to the tissue increases upon doing the cross-linking. Glutaraldehyde has twice the cross-linking power, but it also has twice the autofluorescence. Also, uh, you could instead use a solvent-based method like methanol fixation. This permeabilizes the cells by delipidizing and opens up the cells and the antigen binding sites. Some antibodies need a solvent-based, especially if it's a nuclear antigen. But be aware that it does not preserve the morphology as well as doing a cross-linking like with aldehydes. You can also lose some membrane-bound components and proteins. Or if you labeled the live cells with a dye that was a membrane dye, like dye IC18, uh, it can be lost with acetone or methanol fixation. On the left, you can see an example of poor fixation where the cells actually have this fragmented appearance to them. Uh, this is a cell, the cells that are labeled with a phalloidin to label the F-actin in red. On the right, you can see some cells that were properly fixed. You see a nice morphology and good actin structure to those cells. These were fixed with formaldehyde, and I have a very basic protocol there at the top, basically fixing somewhere between 2 to 4%, and usually methanol-free is the best choice. Formalin, for instance, is methanol-stabilized formaldehyde, so usually you want to use methanol-free, like EM grade, and fix for about 10 to 15 minutes in PBS or another physiological buffer at either room temperature or 37 degrees. 37 degrees is what I generally recommend, just to make sure in that last moment before fixation the cells are still in their proper physiological state. After fixation, you would then wash. Some cells that you label live are not technically fixable. Some might be retained. So I just wanted to make a point of this. Uh, if you label live and then fixed, some cells like nucleic acid stains, for instance, do not, some dyes like nucleic acid stains do not actually cross-link in place. And a fixation won't necessarily preserve them. On the lower left, you can see some example of a tissue that was labeled with three colors, three different fluorescent dyes. And when put at a warm temperature, 37 degrees for 14 days, the dyes slowly diffuse off because they're not cross-linked in place, leaving this sort of washed out appearance. Some dyes, however, are fixable. Uh, in the upper right, for instance, you can see two versions of the dye at the top of the gallery. Top left is a dye called FM-464 on live cells. Top right is the FX, or fixable version of it, on live cells. If you fix the cells, the FM-464 on the left is lost, leading to practically no signal. But the one on the right has amine groups that are cross-linked in place by aldehydes and thus retained. Sometimes you can do a post-fixation as well to cross-link, uh, let's say, an antibody in place so it's not lost over time as you archive the slide. Remember, proper fixation means that you preserve your target for later. <laughs>